Most Germans they like going nude. With that point, I mean, like, when you go even to Zauna, you see people without any clothes. I went to Zauna with my guest family for in the first time I had holiday. It was in Austria. I'm telling you, I went there. They were saying you should leave the towel outside. Going inside, all the men and women were nude. They were naked. And they were so comfortable sitting like this. You understand? Another point about these Germans, I think Germans, they stay a lot. Have you ever talked with someone, you're making a story, like, <laughs> this is something that has happened to me a lot, so many, many times, even at work, like, I'm just putting a lot, thing, a lot of work thing because I work with them and this is a, web, a place where I can, I can talk with them, like associate with them a lot. So imagine talking with someone, that person is just staring in your eyes. Do you know you speak German? I can speak German so well, but as soon as they keep on staring at me like that, I'm like, am I saying, is this person understanding me? Is this person having seen something I cannot see in my face? Is this person like, hey, you know, you'll be asking yourself so many questions until now you start speaking broken German. You be, become like somebody who has been here for two months. Because they stare at you so much. Hey guys, welcome back again to another new video. It's your girl Lineta Mimo. Aki, I know I've been so busy. I've not been, I've not been posting. I know I've not been consistent. But it's because, guys, I'm so busy. As you can see, I'm doing night shift. Even I'm at work right now. Hey, I'm at work. I don't even have time. And then I change to a different floor. Like, you normally change. I'm always switching from the second floor. Now I'm doing the third floor. And here, it was, busy. it was just too busy the last days. I couldn't even vlog any video the last few months. So, anyway, guys, today is my last day. I got some fear where people are sleeping also. So, if you don't know me, my name is Lina Tamimo. I do cooking vlogs, travel vlogs. Uh, lifestyle and all sort of vlogs so consider subscribing to this channel you're gonna learn something about many videos concerning Germany so I've been also in Germany for 14 years so I know a lot that can help someone who's coming into Germany and is a new person and you don't know many things so consider subscribing and like this video guys guys I was just vlogging here I just started vlogging and someone rang the bell that's why I went and then now I'm back so like I said they're gonna be talking about some stereotypes about Germans which I've really observed, but if you're a German, you're born here, you can say, because I've, I'm not, I'm like, like I said, I'm 14 years in Germany, I'll be going to 15 years, so within 15 years, I've seen a lot of things, and if you've been born here, you're a German, you, you know more, kindly tell me if it's true in the comment section or not. And our first point is going to be, most Germans, they like going nude. With that point, I mean, like, when you go even to Zauna, you see people without any clothes. I went to Zauna with my guest family for in the first time I had holiday. It was in Austria. I'm telling you, I went there. They were saying you should leave the towel outside. Going inside, all the men and women were nude. They were naked. And they were so comfortable sitting like this. You understand? When I entered that room, I felt like, nah, this is not for me. I told the mother, my guest mother, please, I cannot stay here. You know, everybody was naked, even them in front of me. I'm like, for them it is normal. Even when you go to the, when you, even during summertime, you see them on the street. They are walking with hot pants. Their ass is outside. You know, me as a woman, you know, if there's dirt or all those things, they can come and they give you some infection, but they don't care. They'll be walking with something which are very, very short on the road. Immediately they just see any sun outside, a small sun. Let me just translate that into from Swahili to Do to English. They just see a small sun. Hey, the Germans are gonna go nude on the road. Some will be lying in the park outside there, naked, enjoying the sun, or only a boxer or a small pant. They don't care. The Germans they like going nude. Another point: Germans they love football. This is something that I've observed. When I came here in 2010, let me tell you, uh, it was during this uh, World Cup or don't know, Germans were playing and I think they won that time. 
I'm telling you, you'll go anywhere where they sell beers. It will be very full, full of Germans watching football. In the TV and anywhere you go, in the houses they put even flags when the Germans are playing. I can see even the small teams, when I have some colleagues here, they will be rushing to do the work quickly just to sit down and watch football. Germans, they love football. This is something like, if you are a German, kindly, kindly com comment in the comment section about this. But Germans, they love football very, very much. They sit here, there with their beer and football, one thing. So guys, let me tell you one thing. If you are planning, if you are dating a white person, a white German man, let me tell you, or a German woman, these people, they love trekking. Trekking, I mean, they like, they prefer, let's say for example, the shop is like five minutes drive. They will prefer walking, like to trek. You understand? Germans, they prefer to trek. They'll be like, ah, oh, let's, let's trek and go and buy, and go and buy ice cream. You know, for me, I'll be like, ah, Ice cream place is just 10 minutes or oh, 5 minutes with the car. Let me just brrr, the car and then we go. Let me just drive quickly and then we go. But for German, they'll be like, they want into it. Either they'll take the bicycle or they'll, they'll just trek. So I've read also some comments somewhere in the group where I am. Those people who are dating whites, they like complaining that they meet men who like to eat salad and sport. And those are the Germans, they like to track and sport sport is out and all like important so another thing which i've seen in my life like many many times in germany even at work at home in the bus with the friends and you know sometimes people ask why don't you have german friends but let me tell you the truth german friends they lack sense of humor like you can crack a joke and it'll be very cold. They don't even they don't even show it's funny. You understand? It can be funny for you. You can see another person laughing. Another maybe let's say a white person from a different place. You'll be laughing or American will be laughing about the joke that you just made. But this German will be very dry. He doesn't understand why are you laughing. They don't have like they don't have sense of humor, you understand? Or even if they make their own joke, their own joke will be also too dry. But for them, it will be like, it's funny. I don't know. And they don't understand when you're joking. They don't understand. They'll be looking at you like, what do you mean? So, this is very... So, guys, another point is that Germans, they love rules. Kai! Hey, yeah? You know, in Kenya, you just be doing anything, don't even know. About you. The rules that you used to know is about only the rules that were in the school, in the secondary school, in the primary school. So, when you come to Germany, there's a country where there's rules. You're not allowed to throw paper on the everywhere you're not allowed to park without at, like at this place at a certain time da, da, da. they have rules you're not supposed to make noise at this hour in your house imagine your own house you're paying rent you're doing everything you're not supposed to even to, to talk loudly at past 10 p.m till 7 a.m everywhere in germany is rules 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 at work we have rules at everywhere you have rules but I, one thing about these rules, I say it is good. It's a good thing. I, I also love this. Since I came to Germany, I'm also a person who, who loves rules. So I became like one of them. That's the best thing about it. Yeah. Another point about these Germans. I think Germans, they stay a lot. Have you ever talked with someone? You're making a story. Like, <laughs> This is something that has happened to me a lot so many, many times. Even at truck, like I'm just putting a lot of thing, a lot of work thing because I work with them and this is a web a place where I can you know, I can talk with them, like associate with them a lot. So imagine talking with someone, that person is just staring in your eyes. Do you know you speak German? I can speak German so well, but as soon as they keep on staring at me like that, I'm like, am I say, is this person understanding me? Is this person having seen something I cannot see in my face? Is this person like, hey, you know, you'll be asking yourself so many questions until now you start speaking broken German. You be, become like somebody who has been here for two months because they stare at you so much. Ha! Huh. Our next point, Germans, they complain a lot. These Germans, they can, they, like I said, they, are, they love rules. And then as soon as a boss comes in or someone comes in with a new role the same same german will complain they will compl they love complaining eh? i thought this complaining is in us africa women or, or men 
but jamas they lack of, they love complaining anything small they'll be complaining let's say for example someone just peed on the floor or something okay is your work as a nurse to come and do it and finish i'm just gonna put as a nurse because of that's something that i see especially most in the nurse field this nurse field you see someone complaining a lot i don't understand someone is ringing the bell i have to go again there's something else i've observed about germans during summertime do you know these sandals like for especially for men's sandals there's some sandals you just wear without socks but these germans they like wearing these sandals with socks inside i don't know i don't understand it is it is so warm and they'll be wearing these sandals that you can you know you close behind it uh, up here you close in front so i don't understand why these germans they like they like wearing socks inside those sandals i don't know who advised them but germans they like wearing socks during even it is too hot like for 38 degrees or 35 degrees and someone is wearing those socks inside the open shoes or up inside the sandals anyway uh, they should tell us why they do that in the comment section another point is that germans like i say they love beer so so much they can drink beer anytime any day winter time summer time they'll drink beer in my last video i spoke about things that germans love to eat so they love also wurst or do you say wurst wurst <laughs> They love eating worse anytime, any day. They also be like everywhere you go, you just see a small, a small shop. They'll be selling worst. So Germans they love worst. Another point is that Germans they don't like. Uh, they don't like. They don't like small talks. You be like for us when you when there's any issue or there's anything, you just sit down with someone. You talk about any something small. Let's say for example, someone did something wrong. I'm just gonna sit between the two of us and discuss about it. But for Germans, it's not going to be a small talk. It's going to be a big talk. Everybody must, will know about whatever is going on. Even if, for example, you tell someone, oh, I don't think uh, I'm feeling okay. I have here pain here. Tomorrow you hear everybody in your company knows you have a back pain. So, they do. so the last point about the German stereotypes, if it's really true or not, in my own point of view, when you ask Germans, do you speak english let's say for example i'm new in germany i'm on the road i'm looking for a certain street do you speak english yes they will be telling you i'm be saying a little bit a little bit everybody will be like a little bit a little bit but the truth is that these germans they have learned english in the school they can't speak english but they don't want to speak english they have attended english classes most of these germans they can speak english but they don't want to speak english so if you are a german kindly tell us the truth and tell us why most of you don't prefer speaking english because you if you if i have attended an english class i passed my exam that means i can speak but once you meet germans on the road they'll be like i'll i'm busy i'm busy a little bit a little bit so guys if you have anything else to add about the stereotypes of germans kindly consider commenting in the comment section if you are a german also kindly consider telling us if these things that i've said in the video is true or not because those are my observation for the the longest time i've been here in germany because i've been interrogating with them i've been working with them i've been interacting with them <laughs> interrogating interacting with them so these are the things that i've seen for myself so if you're a german kindly add more and also kindly Correct us if we are wrong. So we're coming to the end of this video. And guys, I promise not to, to get lost again. I promise to come back also with another video quickly. If there's any topic you want me to do for you, kindly comment in the comment section. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and to share.